Hello friends, this video on light shadows and reflection part 3 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Light falls on so many objects, right? I mean, there are huge number of objects existing on this earth and light falls on all of them. Like when the sun rises, so the sunlight falls on each and everything that is there on the earth. But we see a lot of interesting stuff. In certain objects, when light falls, image is formed. One beautiful example is mirror. So what happens when you take a mirror in presence of light? When I say light, it could be the light from the bulb, it could be light from the tube light, it could be light from the sun. So in presence of light, if you keep a mirror in front of you, what do you see? You are able to see your image. So basically when light falls on a mirror, image is formed, right? Now you take an example of another object like this object. It is a pin basically. So now when light falls on this object, what, what's happening? Shadow is formed. So you see here the black colored shadow of this object is formed. Now again, if, if you take the same object, the same pin inside a dark room where there is no light, there will be no shadow formed. So the shadow will be formed only in presence of light. So this is another type of object where shadow is being formed. Now, if you take some other example, for example, you think of a glass window. So when you look at a glass window, what happens? You are able to see whatever is there on the other side. If you are inside the house, through the glass window, you are able to see the objects which are present outside. So basically that window is like a see-through window. You are able to see whatever is there on the other side of the window. But this also you are able to see in presence of light. That means when light falls on this glass window, it enables you to see whatever is present on the other side. So you see, in presence of light, different objects behave differently. So in some objects, image is formed. In some object, you are able to see the objects which are present on the other side. Whereas in case of certain object, shadow is formed. So that is creating a lot of curiosity. That, that leads to a lot of questions in our minds that what's, what is that which is happening in a different way because of which in different objects when light falls the behavior is different. So based on whether an object will allow light to pass through it or not, objects have been classified into three types. Now these three behaviors which we saw in one image is formed, in another shadow is formed and in the third one it allows you to see through that object. So it was because some objects allow light to pass through them, some objects do not allow light to pass through them whereas some other objects partially allow light to pass through them. So based on how objects allow light to pass through them, they have been classified into three types, transparent, translucent and opaque objects. So these are the three major categories of objects. So let us learn about each of them. So we start with transparent objects. So these are those objects which allow light to pass through them. So basically when light falls on them, light is able to cross them and move ahead as it happened here. So in this case, when light falls on this glass window panes, it actually crosses these glass and it reaches whatever is there on the other side. So here you have the mountain, the trees. So light is able to reach the mountain and the trees. Now since the light falls on the mountains and the trees and these are all illuminated objects. So light gets reflected and we are able to see them. So basically in this case light is completely passing through the transparent glass. So it is an example of transparent object. You think of a glass. So if you think of a glass, they are also, I mean, if you see through the glass, you will be able to see whatever is there on the other side. You think of a lens or a glass like this, you will see that it helps you to see, generally palmists use it or astrologers use it to uh, read the lines on your hands. So when they see through it, they are able to see your hand, right? So basically they are also transparent objects. The second type of objects are the translucent objects. 
So these objects, they partially allow light to pass through them. So they allow light to pass through, but not completely. They will allow some portion of light to pass and they will block some part of it. So in this case, what happens is, let's say this is a sheet of paper on which you have uh, the painting of a bird. Right? Now, an example of a translucent object would be a butter paper or a cellophane paper. So these kind of papers, you know, they are not completely transparent like plastic. But when you put that paper over the sheet, you, you are able, still able to see that image of the bird, but it has become hazy. It became unclear. So light is able to reach, light is able to pass through this paper, but it does not reach completely to the image. That is why you are not able to see the image clearly. Only some portion of the light is able to reach the bird. That is why you are able to see only an unclear image of the bird. You think of ice cube. So through the ice cube, ice cube is not completely transparent. You clearly do not see what is there on the other side, but roughly you can see. Like let's say if there is uh, greenery everywhere on the other side. So when you look through the ice cube, you can see that green color in hazy, but you cannot see distinctly the trees and the plants which are present there. So many such examples, a lot of glass, the frosted glass is another good example of translucent object and it is often used in a lot of offices and uh, uh, those kind of places. In fact, in uh, homes also, home interior also, these kind of glasses are used. So look at this picture. Through this glass, you are able to see something green in color, something white and something green on the other side. But you are not able to see it very distinctly because the light is not allowed to pass through this glass completely and fall on those objects. Now, until and unless light properly does not fall on an object, we will not be able to see it clearly. So basically frosted glass, butter paper, some of the plastics. Now not all plastics are transparent. Some plastics are transparent but certain plastics are translucent. Ice, these are all examples of translucent objects. So here only some portion of the light, some part of the light passes through them, through these objects. And as a result objects on the other side appear hazy and unclear. So that's translucent object. The third type is opaque objects. And these are those objects which do not allow light to pass through them. So they completely block light. So in this case, what happens to the light which falls on the object? So think of an example, like think of a wooden board. So what happens when light falls on a wooden board? Are you able to see whatever is present exactly behind the wooden board? No, because the wooden blo board blocks light. It doesn't allow light to go beyond it. So that part is clear. So now the question is, what happens to the light that falls on the wooden board? So that light either bounces back or the light gets absorbed by the board. So in opaque objects, light doesn't pass through them at all. So the light either gets reflected, that is either they bounce back or they get absorbed. So they get absorbed by that particular object. So most of the metals are opaque in nature. They do not allow light to pass through them. Uh, in fact, you think of a cardboard box. So that is also an opaque object. So uh, with these definitions of transparent, translucent and opaque objects, I would like you to look at objects around you and try to classify them as transparent, translucent or opaque. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.